Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Jack Fields with Warner Brothers. Uh, I work for the programming committee here at the festival. I always am so excited uh, to come and be a part of the Plaza Classic Film Festival. Um, if everyone will, uh, give a shout out to my dad on the theater pipe organ, John Fields. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Scott Hulse, attor Attorneys at Law, for sponsoring this afternoon's movie. Please give it up for them. And also to Chris and Alex in the projection booth, projecting a, another 35 millimeter print. So this is a real on-film film that we're going to be watching this afternoon. So you and also keep that in mind. You're watching a film on real film, so if you see a little bit of a hopping, a little bit of scratching, just remember that as you're watching the movie. It's on the real deal. So, uh, Philadelphia Story, our last movie, um, was one of the most lighthearted, most feel-good, whimsical movies ever, right? And now we are watching one of the most heavy-hearted and most serious movies, but also still one of the best. That shows the versatility of movie making. Um, this is another one which uh, we have not shown here at Plaza Classic for over 10 years, not since 2011, so it definitely warrants a repeat and has been a long-requested repeat from attendees of the film festival. So I'm so glad we're showing this one again. This is another one of the great, great ones. Um, Somebody was saying earlier how much they love this movie and how relevant they still feel it is uh, because of what we're dealing with today with troubled youth and with mental illness and some very serious subject matters that are very serious problems still going on today. But I think it's a testament to the power of movies and the power of movie storytelling that um, this movie is still so relevant today and made such a difference then and still makes a difference today. I think everyone should see Rebel Without a Cause. Um, it goes back to a original psychoanalysis uh, book written by a man named Robert M. Lindner. I'd never heard of him either, you have to write it down. Uh, in 1944, and he wrote a book called Rebel Without a Cause, the Hypno Hypoanalysis of a Criminal Psychopath. And writer-director Nicholas Ray of Warner Brothers um, convinced Warner Brothers to buy the film rights to that book just for the title, and that is the only part of the original book that is related to the film, is the title, Rebel Without a Cause. Nicholas Ray um, is the one who orig originally took, uh, told this story about a troubled teen and his life moving to a new town in Los Angeles. Um, uh, he had tried to get this made, I think, uh, what I read was four different times, as early as 1947, and there's even a screen test which still exists, which features the actor Marlon Brando reading some of Jim's original speeches. It's still available on YouTube if you want to check it out. Um, but for whatever reason, it wasn't able to get greenlit by Warner Brothers. They didn't want to go there. They didn't want to approach a serious subject matter like troubled youth and mental illness until a little fellow named James Dean of the Actors Studio made a sensation with 1955's East of Eden, directed by Ilya Kazan. Um, as soon as he was making a stir, when he would, while he was still making that film, they said, okay, he could play a troubled youth. He is this guy for this Rebel Without a Cause project you have been wanting to make forever and ever, Nicholas. And so he did, he got the green light on it, and then when East of Eden, East of Eden came out and became this huge critical and, critical and box office success, they said, okay, you don't just get the B budget that we were originally going to give you with black and white. We are giving you our new watercolor process. We are giving you the new CinemaScope widescreen process. This is an A-list movie. And the result is one of the best. Um, also starring the wonderful Natalie Wood in her first real grown-up role. Um, Nicholas Ray didn't think that she could handle such a grown-up role, such a rebellious young lady type of role. And it was only after Natalie was in a car accident with some friends that she immediately called, not her parents, but Nicholas Ray to say, can I play a troubled youth now? And also the wonderful Sal Minio, very moving in the film. All three actors are absolutely wonderful. And I hope you enjoy seeing on the big screen here at the Plaza Classic Film Festival from Warner Brothers in 1955, Nicholas Ray's Rebel Without a Cause. Enjoy everyone. 